Hey everyone, welcome to Stratelli Studios. I'm Jeff Castanon. Welcome to another No Pause video reaction and analysis. Today I have a request from my wonderful patron, Michael, who also goes by GW Frog. You've heard me say his uh, moniker on the station before. This is a song by the group The Swingles, and it's called Bucci Mish. And it says Bulgarian dance. Ooh, let's get into this. Bass is so low. Those harmonies. God, that was freaking amazing. I love these guys. Oh my God. 
my mind is blown. These guys are so, so good. Um, all right, let me tell you some of the things I love about these guys. Uh, one thing that stands out immediately to me is their ability to emulate musical instruments like the percussion, the drums, and the low, low bass almost sounds like a stringed instrument or a synthesizer. And the timbre of their voice, they're able to manipulate the timbre of their voice to not sound like the human voice when they want to. And this, this is what I really, really like about them is that I was surprised by the timbre of their voices in certain parts of the song. Like at the beginning, there's kind of, it almost sounds synthetic. I'll rewind that for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Check this out. Yes, it almost sounds synthetic. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I love these guys. How come I've not heard of these? Have I done them before? I don't, the, the name sounds familiar and I want to think that maybe I've come across them before. I'll have to check it out because the name sounds familiar, but um, this particular song, this performance absolutely blows me away. It's stunning. It is really, really good. Uh, Michael, thank you so much for making this request and just opening a new door for me. This is, this is amazing. Um, wow. Wow. I always like to do, I don't know if you guys do this when you watch these, but I always try to figure out like who's doing what part. So I, I'm always like, who's the bass, you know, because <laughs> they're all singing at the same time. And I'm like thinking, okay, who's most likely the one who's doing the bass? So I'm looking, I'm like, I bet it's that guy who's doing the bass. Um, and then one of the things I noticed about their harmonies and on the low end was there's this guy doing the super, super low. And then another guy, an octave above, gives this really nice definition to those low notes. Because it was just the low, low notes. Sometimes that gets a little bit lost. But having that octave above it uh, gives it more definition. I'll... I'll play something for you here so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so that that helps. I also think about like when you're playing on a keyboard that you will do octaves in the left hand also. That's the same kind of mentality. Um, that I'm thinking about. You get that feel of the lowness, but you get the definition of the octave above it. So very, very cool. All right. Well, this was just freaking mind blowing. Oh, I want to hear more from this group. Oh man. Yes. Michael, give me some more. This is great. All right. We'll come back for more. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I'm going to put information about them in the description and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.